Hi, thank you once again for joining me on a note of encouragement with Katie here in our newsletter. First, I want to tell you about a scripture that I believe is so applicable for each and every one of us during this time, and it comes from the book of Romans in chapter 8. And so it goes like this. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine? No. In all of these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, present, nor things to come, no powers, nor height, nor depth, and listen to this, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now, these words in the book of Romans come from the Apostle Paul. And the, when he was writing this, he didn't write this from a place of, of life is just like a bed of roses. <laughs> but he, he wrote this from a place of suffering, from a place of persecution. And he wasn't in this, in this text, he wasn't pretending that everything was hunky-dory. Yet, even in times of suffering, and discouragement, Paul held tight to the truth of God's love in Christ. And God, and here's the clicker, not only did Paul hold tight to God's truth, but God held tightly to Paul. I wonder how many of you, including myself, need to hear that, that even though I'm clinging to God's word, I need to know that God is clinging onto me. So you, you might be feeling separated from God's love or not worthy of God's love. Or I even heard someone told me the other day that they said that they thought God was ashamed of them or, or upset with them. And I'm not minimizing that because I know that sometimes that is real. That is what you, you're really feeling. But the fact is this, that nothing, this is what scripture tells us, that nothing in all creation can separate us from God's love. It, and you know, and here's the thing is that it's not based, God, what this thinking about is not based on our experience. Rather, it is based on the truth. And the truth is this, that Jesus Christ died for you and me. He died for each one of us. And not only did he die, but he rose again. He's victorious. And so the God who has given us his love in Jesus Christ, this is his promise. He will never let go of us, no matter what we're feeling and no matter what we've done. His death on the cross defeated all that. It canceled that out, your debt. And you are now seated at, seated at the right throne of God as an heir. That's where Jesus is, and you are an heir to that throne. As followers of Jesus Christ so know that love that he has for you is so deep and wide and he is not only are you maybe during this time clinging to him but know with assurance that he is holding you tight God bless you bye